Hi everyone, it's Shane from Hanlon's for another Maintenance Monday. Today we're going to talk about field and way line setup and how to do it properly so that you can export that out and or use it over and over again. So once you've made that way line, you save it properly and then you have the ability to come back to it in three months, six months, a year, whatever, without having to put those same coordinates in or if you have an adaptive curve or something like that, that it's there, it's ready to go, it's named for the proper field, and away you go. So let's get started. So to start out, we're gonna hit our GPS and we're gonna expand that menu, and then we're going to hit our field. Now we're going to add a field. Um, we'll call this one for easy, we'll call it Hanlon. So now we've got our field named Hanlon, and now we're gonna add a wayline for that field. So um, you can see the different layouts that you could have. We're gonna do an easy one with an A plus an angle. Hit the green check mark. We'll use 180 to give us a line, and then drop our A point. Now what we wanna do is we wanna have this as our, our north, south, way line is what we're going to call it so now you have to hit the disk with the gps signal to save it now we've saved that now when we we leave that field and we come back to it in a month or two months or three months or six months we touch that we've got all of our fields laid out of course here we're going to touch handling and then it automatically will bring up all of the way lines. If you touch this box, it will bring up all the way lines that are associated with that field. So if we had an east-west line and a contour line for the west side of the field, we could have all those in there. You select the line that you want and away you go. If you're running on RTK, what you can do now is it will be the line that you had last year within about an inch of where it was. If you're running on WAS, you're probably gonna have to pull up to the edge of the field and recenter your line to get it to, to shuffle over to where it needs to be. But it's a quick way to recall those lines. You can, you can pick those lines out and then you're not having to make the same line over and over if you have an adaptive curve in a field that the curve hasn't changed for years and years, but every time you drive it, you have to go reset that line. This way you've saved the line into the system and you can recall it and away you go. Hopefully that helps you out. Thanks for watching.